Oh, your yeah. Uh, it looks like your lights are on too. Uh, which is bar two, option one. I would say that's what the noise are. Noise are. Noise was. Alright, for some reason I am zoomed hell far out. And I can't zoom any closer. Let's see. No, this doesn't look like it had any issues. Uh, let me turn that off. Oh, it looks like you left the lights on. Maybe I want to leave the lights you on. Go. You got a problem with that? Mm, fine. You like you like the blink the blinking pattern. <laughs> Still, kind of sounds like it's on, doesn't it? Sorry about that. Just had a bit of a, a bit of a snuzzle. But you should at least be able to rename its parts now. Yeah. Everything should be prefixed with galaxy. I don't think there's anything that isn't. How do I turn off the extra lights? Uh, option two. Oh, sorry, um, tab two. Is that number one? <laughs> and if I remember right, number two is the downwards light. Whatever one, whatever one's turned on on the galaxy at the moment. Yeah, we've got some very I can't dramatic tell what music. It is. It's too far away. <laughs> Pretty sure it's the light on the bottom. Oh, uh, we're talking about the ship. It's the ship that I'm uh, building here is the galaxy. Now it looks like we're gonna have an issue. Oh, no, we won't have an issue. Cause what you can do is you can jump in the cockpit and raise the, um, raise the feet. Once um, you've got them all built. And that is why we need to rename the ship. <laughs> mm. Rename the parts. Motors and computers. Oh. Damn, we need to build more motors. We need more motors? Really? Hey, use them all. <laughs> well, it's a good thing we have three assemblers. It'll build them fast. Uh, what else are we running low on? Metal grids. Oh, I can't. Because we need cobalt. Oh shit, do we need cobalt? Aye. Um, I think I've seen some somewhere. I think I've seen some somewhere. Problem is, I haven't had drops turned on for a while, so, um. Yeah. The computer. I knew this thing I seen you. I'm a computer. this I've been looking for gold for ages and this is sitting right freaking here
Should really be doing this with Drillbot, that's what it's for. Right, well, I want to say with the smallest amount of confidence, and I'm done. But you say you sh I should lift up the legs before we go? Oh, wait. There's something else you said I had to add to this. What else did I have to add? Something, something, oxygen. I don't know if there's a specific small one I can use. I'm going to rotate this. How do you rotate again? I don't remember. You've also gone silent and I don't know if that's intentional. You're not responding. Um, my bad. I'm, I was still muted. It is um, a combination of insert, delete, home, end, page up, page down. I only tend to use page up, page down because um, that's easier to remember. So you need to find I... which corner has the little square and you need to match up the little squares. Okay. So on my oxygen thing... You want to plug the little square with the little square. Uh-oh. Okay, I think I got it. Only one way to find out! Yeah, doesn't matter which... Doesn't matter really which way around it actually is, as long as the, the little square is on the little square. What do I need? Large steel tubes, and that's it? Oh my god, we're making these. What, what are you more making? Than 40 metal grids. Okay, well, it's done. Is it? E. Have you retracted the legs yet? I have not. I need to figure out how to do that. Uh, it'll be in the cockpit. It should be on page one. It'll be like an icon that represents the pistons. You just press that and it should retract them. Because it toggles. It'll retract or extend.
Where is... I just made some conductor. Where the hell is the conductor? Okay, my legs have been retracted. Alright, now you need to put feet on them. Landing gear. Okay. A uh, G landing gear? Uh, yep. I'm guessing there's not enough gold in it. Damn. Okay, how's... Go on the thing. Oh, hang on, that's not, that's not gold. That's silver. Yeah, it looks like we're out of gold. Damn, still haven't built that module yet. Need 14 more superconductors. Watch as I put all the feet around the wrong way. Ooh. Shh. This would be how you can tell them apart. Because shh. All right. So what you want to do is you want to throw this into charge mode. At some point, jump in the cockpit. Um, switch to tab. Tab two, and you'll have the two batteries. You want to switch them from auto to um, recharge. You just press on them, and it will toggle. Auto to recharge. Yeah. Because you want to recharge the batteries fully before trying to do anything. So this should be on page two. You'll have two, the batteries. What are they on? Six and six seven. And seven. So just toggle six and seven, and they should yep. both switch to recharge. Yep, they are. Now that's a setting you'll always want to check before you disconnect that from a station. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, you'll find yourself with no power. I mean, it's not too much of an issue with these because they're remote. Uh, they're not remote controlled. Yeah. Strictly. Um, but yeah, you can start going through and uh, renaming shit. How so exactly have you do it? Thought of a name for it? Uh, 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 no. Because I, I I got the Galaxy. What are you gonna name yours? It's currently called the Galaxy because it's a copy of this one. I mean, I could be I could be really funny and change the E to an A. So this, is the gal this is the galaxy, but different C. Mm, that, would, that would probably get confusing. <laughs> <laughs> um, but the trick to renaming it is you just um, go through the go through the control panel, basically. Um, and you just search up the current name, which is, you know, Galaxy. And you just go on each one and just change the name. Um, everything should be prefixed. So am I going to have to change the name of all the glow And also under boxes? the info tab, I think it is, you need, um, is where the actual ship name is. Which is probably going to be the, like, the default, which is probably like some small, small grid something, I think. I can't find the oh, yeah, small yeah name of the grid. Fish fish thy name shall be. 
Okay. So that's its official name. Uh, so do I not rename the grid name? Um, but for ease of keeping a tab of what is what, I always rename all of the parts to be prefixed with the name of the ship as well. Because then when it's docked, you know what one is what. <laughs> So everything labeled Galaxy, I have to rename. Yeah, yeah, everything labeled Galaxy. Um, all you have to do is just rename it once and then copy the name. And then you just replace it in each one. Um, and then obviously once it's on its own, you'll want to tag whatever doesn't have a tag. Like, I know I need to do my oxygen tank. I'll do that now. My oxygen tank doesn't have the name. And then, what do you reckon? Should we go to space? <laughs> attempt not to crash. I'd be really sad if I did all this work and then we crashed it. Uh, well, what you can do is you can take your own blueprint of your one once it's done. Because then it'll remember all of its name, but not until after it's been disconnected from the ship. There are so many things to rename. Yeah, there are. But imagine trying to figure out which one is your one when both of these are docked to the same station. And, it, and unfortunately, it doesn't stop at that. There's groups as well. Fortunately, there's not many groups. Uh, the only groups there are... Yo, cool, uh, how's it going? The pistons. And the thrusters. Uh, yeah, just the pistons and the thrusters. Why am I streaming so early? Uh, well, you see... Uh, that's not the button I was looking for. Uh, that is also not the button I'm looking for. That's the button I'm looking for. Uh, I've been streaming for a while. That's done. Oh, April. I'll be having yourself a, a nice day. What else am I renaming? Uh, just anything tagged with Galaxy. Okay, and that's it. Yeah, and that's it. Oh, and, and, oh, and obviously the groups. I uh, rename groups. And the groups should be at the very top of the list. Apparently you own my gyroscopes? What? Uh, no, they're probably gyroscopes on something else. <laughs> I'm pretty sure the, I'm pretty sure it's got the gyroscopes, uh, gyroscopes tagged. Yeah, yeah, they do. It does. Okay. Then, but then you I think right at the very top, very very top of the whole list, you might have galaxies still. Oh, yeah, I see. Now the only thing with those is you just click it on the right hand side, rename it, save it, and then delete the original. Then delete. It will still keep a copy. How do I delete it? Oh, I see. This is the thing to button. remember with groups. If you're renaming it, you got to save a new one, then delete the old one.
It is Pride Month. Um, rename the world. I shall call the world Steve. Dion. Or renamed, say hello to the spice fish. Spice fish. You gone quiet again? I don't know if you're just speechless and awe on how awesome <laughs> that name is. No. <laughs> I I I had I had Discord muted still. <laughs> I, I was thinking, this it, it sounds like you're saying space, but I don't think you're saying space. So I just looked at it, and you're not saying space. <laughs> uh, no. Oh, that's a thought. Yes. We should paint the. How the hell do you paint again? Oh, uh, with a brush, bucket of uh, liquid. No, there's a um. Yes, we are. We are on on the Mars. That we can Thank use you, to bring up The painting thing. How was it? Yes, as per ah, my info, hey. Daryl yes, is my it. name. Pressing control, middle mouse buttons, colors a medium area, press shift, middle mouse button to color a large area. Okay. Do I need to have a block in my hand? Oh, yes, I need to have a block in my hand. Well, how'd you do it? 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 Uh, you do it? I've just got, you know, I've just got one of, oh, shit. I've just got one of these. Oh, I don't have a steel plate. Um, I've just got a regular block in my hand. Um, it's like a steel block. It's the light armor block. Um, once you've got that, press P. That brings up a color changer. Yeah. Then I, then you can choose your color. Aye. And then it's just press, put the block against the, against the ship and then shift middle mouse. Shift middle mouse. Shift middle mouse. I'm making mine so red. It's not working. Have, have you got the block touching the, like it's, the block should touch the ship. Like, should it be like as if it, um, cause it's a basic assembler, what if, what yeah, an idiot. Yeah, as if it's attaching. Make sure it's a, like a light armor block. A light armor block. Okay, and then we're gonna go so that's P. That's what I'm using, and it's working. And then it's, and then you... Shift and middle mouse click. Shift. And then middle mouse. Any middle mouse click on OK? And it's not working! OK. In that case. It might be the ownership. It might. Let's see. It might still be on a grid that I own. I mean, everything I mean, you that should own 
everything. All right, let, let's try to disconnect it. Okay, jump in the jump in the cockpit. You'll need to remap your um your buttons. So uh, uh, you'll uh, find uh, that uh, your G key will be needed to be used. Sorry, chat. I'm not paying attention. I'm not deliberately not answering. Game, what are you doing? That's probably what it is, because it's probably. It, I, I think it might be doing it because you're still connected to the main grid. Okay, I'm in the vessel. You're inside? Okay. Okay. So you'll probably need to press G and you'll need to remap your uh, landing pistons. Because they'll be grayed out now. So if you go to groups, yeah, um, and then find your ship name. This is why you, na you, you, you named it. Aye. So just type in the search, search for your ship name, and then you should be able to find your your piston yep, group. Yep, found it. Yeah, and then drag that down to what the hell was it? Because if we keep them the same, number four. If we keep them the same, then it'll be easier to to, to help. <laughs> and it's a toggle on off, isn't it? Yeah, and it's to no, it is uh, retract. No, re oh. reverse. Reverse. Okay. Yeah, Are we Australian? Reverse. No, we're uh, New Zealanders. Okay, now activate that. Okay, did they retract? Did... No, did, did you set it to reverse? Yeah. And uh, nothing happened. Ah, oh, shit. We make sure nothing else is moving. <laughs> Doesn't look like it. Alright, let's have a look. Control panel. Spice. No, no, spice. The spice fish. So landing pistons. Yeah, that's right. Okay, they're just not moving. fully charged let's put them back on auto they shouldn't matter oh maybe it's one of those things where we have to turn it off and on again maybe try oh top the blocks aren't turned on yeah That was why. The blocks weren't turned on. You must have toggled them off at some point. Okay. Would that be why I couldn't paint my right. ship? No, shouldn't have been. But I am now going to disconnect it from the grid. So it'll be its own ship. There we go. It Don't is look now how standing. See it's... if you can paint it. It's standing on one leg, which I find is quite interesting. <laughs> yeah, sometimes they do that. So, they'll, they'll lock on. A so you few put of a them. block against the side, and are you clicking to place it, or? Uh, no, you just middle mouse. Hey, there it goes. And if you hold down shift, it'll paint more. That's a uh, more peachier orange than I was expecting.
I mean, look at how red this thing is. It's there like we go. Insane red. Uh, did you build an antenna? Yeah, it's in the back. I need to build the antenna. Oh, it's no, that doesn't make sense. I should still be able to see it in the um in the grid list. I think I'm stupid. <laughs> oh, unless you've still got the antenna set up as Galaxy. I mean, I didn't change it. I mean, I I know I changed it. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, the HUD text is still, um, um was still Galaxy. Uh, I need to swap up my H tank. Uh, no, it's still not showing up. <laughs> Never tag name. Oh, you gotta name it. It's called Small Grid. Uh, which doesn't actually show up for me. So to rename it Spice for Small Grid. Yeah, it, yeah it's, it's in it's in info. And see if you can see it in the um, Shift K menu after you've named it. Oh, okay. So I actually have to change the grid name to it as well. Yeah, grid name and then press OK on it. Cause that's the actual name of the ship. Okay. Well, there we go. So I just renamed it to Spice Fish. Yeah, I don't see it. <laughs> is it in your Shift K menu? Or is uh, your antenna turned off? Did you turn off your antenna? I don't remember turning off my antenna. No, we'll, t we'll turn your antenna on, off and on again. Let's see if that fixes it. Hey, now I can see it. Oh, well, I just turned it off and on. Yeah, um, I saw that. It disappeared. <laughs> yeah, so we're more east and south. So we're more southeast. Bah. We're more southeast from Australia. What? Why is this called Christchurch? Why not? Because it was once a famous... Oh, well, there is still a church there. That's... All right. Spice. Spice. I... Spice. Now, your first trick... Taking off. Uh, you'll have to remap your hydrogen thrusters and your regular thrusters. Oh shit. <laughs> this sounds weird. Not that bad. Oh, and possibly some of your lights, I think. Uh, you'll need to name the landing gear and group th and group them together. I had landing gear on five. I had, what's that, forward lights on six? Yeah, forward lights on six. Seven was just a spotlight, so it should still be there. Uh, Atmos thrusters was on eight, and hydrogen thrust was on nine. Uh, and it's a toggle on off, isn't it? Yeah, those ones are toggle on and off. Um, the only ones that aren't are the pistons, uh, and the landing gear. The landing gear you switch lock. God. Do I seriously not have a group for landing gear? No, you have to create them. Because the landing gear don't get, aren't part of the grid, so, um... But how do you make a group? Uh, you select them individually So you use the control key to to grab them And once you've got them all selected you just uh, create a group name off to the Right hand side <laughs> That makes sense. Can I do it from this menu that I'm in right now? Because because I'm pressing the control key and it's not 
doing anything. Oh, you got to do it from the control panel if you're still in the G menu. Could have been a bit more specific. And you can name them too, because they'll be just called landing gear, I would think. Uh, let me double check that all my stuff's are named now. Yep, all my stuff's named. Let's take another blueprint of it. Man, I hope that it's only showing me my landing gear. Yeah, because you're not connected to anything right now. So the only things you can see are your landing gear. Let's make sure to prefix them with the uh, with the name of your ship. Go on, say it. You know you want to. Spice fish. <laughs> Like an Australian spaceship. <laughs> Spice. With life. Spice. <laughs> now I should be able to go to G, and I should have a land. Uh, have you renamed your O2, your oxygen tank? I thought. I mean, uh, it's not needed on a group or anything. It still didn't edit as a group and now I'm mad. No, it should be under groups. If you go block, uh, what is the button? Block, uh, groups. It should be in there. As long as you did save it. Yeah. I saved it. So when you're in the G menu, you just go from all blocks to groups. Uh, and it was my oxygen tank. And it was switch lock, wasn't it? Yeah, switch lock. Wait. Oh, got it. Now, you should be able to double tap it, and it'll test it. It might wobble a little. Okay, well, this yeah, is ready to... That works. Locked. Yeah, and then it should say locked. So when it says locked, it's um, locked to the ground. So right now, you've got all four feet the locked doing to the ground. Order, no more people I shut have three up. feet, so... Oh, no, mine still says locked. Oh... Uh. Fun of me for the way I, I do got things. three feet on the ground on mine. Um, but if you've got the thrusters set up, uh, re added both the hydrogen and yep. the Atmos, got the forward facing spotlight group. Yes. Got your the feet group, I know you've got your piston yep. group. Um, uh, what's on page two? Page two contains no groups. Um, but you will want to set number eight, which is your hydrogen tank, mm -hmm. on page two to on. It is on. That is the fuel siphon. Uh, should I be concerned that, that it's fuel. at 15? No, because that's what you're going to do now. Okay. So, here's, here's your challenge. <laughs> your first act in your ship. It's to dock it. What you need to do is you need to, on your page one, because your page one's your f flight controls, basically. Um, but you do need to flex page two when you're about to lock. Um, you want to be switched on your downwards facing camera so you can see yep. the, uh, the thing you're attaching to. Oh, ah, yeah, I can see that you're already. To turn on, turn on the atmospheric thrusters. Uh, that was my eight. Which is your number eight. Yep. Now you need to unlock your landing gear and retract them. 
that will lift it up now you'll be hovering and now adjust yourself so that the camera is looking at the light underneath the connector block okay you lost me oh yeah you don't don't want to tilt forward you want to keep it level <laughs> you lost me so see how there's a light at the top and the bottom of the connector oh yes you want to line up to the bottom light because that's where the camera is because the connector's above your camera and then just slowly drop uh, slowly bring it down onto the connector until it goes yellow and what will happen is the connector will grab you and pull you down and the landing gear will lock I don't know how low I have to get. Uh, you have to touch it. Almost. There it goes. I see. And then the landing gear will grab it. Now you can flick to page two, and you can lock. On the on the um, connector, and it should go green. And that's on three, isn't it? Uh, yes, I think it's yes. on three. Yep, and it goes green. You can shut your um, atmospheric thrust off. Save on save on some battery power for now. But what you should be doing now is you should be noticing that your hydrogen's going up. It's full. It's full. Right. Excellent. Um, now you'll want to go into your control panel and toggle on stockpile for your oxygen tank as well um you could probably actually add it to a group next to your actually i'm going to do that i need to do that too i'm going to add it on number nine on that um on that tab uh where are we oxygen tank drag it down to nine stockpile on off can do that Take all the oxygen, I do a lot to be mine. And that will siphon all of the oxygen, like fill it up with oxygen from the base. Cool, so that's done. Yep, so your hydrogen should be full and your oxygen should be full. We good? Uh, yep, all full. Should we go for a test flight? Sure, why not? What's the worst that could happen? I don't know. Wait, should we, take a, blue, should we take a, a blueprint um, of this first? Yep, yep. So what I would recommend is take a blueprint before we go. But How do you, take um, a blueprint? you want to lift it up off the base first. So the first thing you want to do is turn off stockpiling on your two tanks. So they should both say off. On your tab two. Oh, well, I didn't set what you just did. Okay, we'll make sure stockpiling is turned off. Aye. For both the hydrogen tank and the oxygen tank, otherwise Done. they don't work. <laughs> <laughs> Good to know. <laughs> they, okay. They'll basically always be in stockpile mode and they won't actually give you anything. Okay, um, test done. Yep, yeah. okay, so now what you want to do is you want to engage your thrusters, like turn them on. Then you want to disconnect, then you want to unlock the connector Then switch over to tab 1 Release your landing gear and then just tap space You might need to tap it for about a second or so And that should free you just until you start moving up You might need to unlock again because I see it's locked. There it is Correct yourself Okay, lift it up just a bit more Now level out and lower landing gear Just the gear or the pistons too? It, no, just the landing gear. So just drop the pistons. That's what that means by lowering the landing gear. And you're just a little high, so bring it down a bit. Probably gonna do some weird shit and probably lock at the rear first. But as soon as you get it locked... A connected ship is taking control. Uh, you've locked on one of your rear ones, so just tap, just unlock them. Okay. Might already say unlocked. Yeah. And then down. 
Oh, okay, now you got two. That, that's better than one. Okay, shut off the thrusters. All right, hop out. Now you can blueprint your ship. Look up at it and control B. Wait, what? what the... Oh, I somehow, I obviously I'm opened my helmet noise. at some point. <laughs> so just, just look at your ship and go control B. <laughs> I don't know how close you have to be to it. I'm usually like always right up at it, but a menu should come up. Yeah. And then if you press F10, it should show your show your robot in the well show your ship in the list. F10. Okay, I'm not seeing it when I press F10. Not seeing it. I should list it with a with like a thumbnail of it. Oh, yeah, I've got that on the side, yes. Oh yeah, yeah, that's it. That means it's. Oh, up. okay. That's the blueprint. Okay. <laughs> now you have a blueprint with all of the tags and all of the names and all of the setup as it is right now. Spice fish. Yep. All right then. No, it's 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 a, it's spice fish. Flight time? Sure, why not? Now, keep in mind, above you are wind turbines. Which means yes. you don't want to be going straight up. You want to go up a bit. Yeah, I know. And then go forward out um, over the over the dirt. Aye. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, I'm going to turn my lights on. So I got my flashy lights. Have you got your flashy lights? Oh, those ones. Uh, that, that, that looks like your docking light. <laughs> there we go. That should be it. Yeah, it looks like you got some flashing lights going. On with the engines. The Atmos. No need for hydrogen until we're about 5Ks up. And uh, release landing gear. Raise pistons. Up a little bit and uh, let's start moving. Shall we go to the, the space station? Please don't crash into me. <laughs> Where should we go? Space station? Uh, I don't care. Let, let's go to the space station. So I'm just going to point my nose up at it because I always get lost otherwise. Just hold down to W. Just keep an eye on your um on your speed, which is the lower left. Should have um, well, I've got 99 at the moment. Lower left on your yep. indicator panel. Yeah, I got 99. As soon as that starts dropping, is when you want to turn on your um, hydro. Yeah, it's dropping. But I'll fire mine when you fire yours. Yep. I take it we turn off the Atmos at the same time? No, I leave the Atmos on. Isn't like a horrendous waste of fuel? No, uh, because as, as they get less effective, they stop using power. And you'll see your power usage will be going down. And then once I'm at about 0.7, I turn off the dampeners, so dampeners off now, and then I coast it so that I keep it above 70. Just keep tapping W to keep it above 70. 
Uh, I've I'm, I, uh, I've lost you. You've got way ahead of me. Uh, I think you're next to me. <laughs> That's scary. <laughs> oh, on my screen, you're like heaps away away from me. Oh, uh, are you? This is not you. you. See me. <laughs> like just, you're like a little speck off in the distance. Because as we get further away. The amount of deceleration we have slows down. But I just keep the speed above 70. I'm just bursting back up to 90 and then letting go again. Just keep an eye on your fuel, because we didn't grab ice. But Wee! we're also unladen. Oh, there you are. Yeah, I went past you, so now I'm slowing down to let you pass me. But I'm speeding up for some reason. Why am I speeding up? Uh, if you're speeding up, you're falling. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> That's why you need to keep it above 70. I, I, I've lost you completely. Can you see where the space station is? Nope. <laughs> uh, you should be able to. Did you turn off the tags? Probably. Uh, H to turn them back on again. I'm just pointing right at the space station. Uh, is that, is, oh yeah, I see 26 kilometers away. Oh, and I see you! Keep an eye on your fuel, though. Because if you start getting low, you're gonna, you're gonna have to think about turning back. <laughs> when am I at 80? You're at 80? I'm at 78. I just ticked Do down to 78. I just ticked down to 78. No one saw uh, that. Hopefully my, um... No one saw that. No, no one saw saying. that at all. <laughs> Coming across right? <laughs> <laughs> no one saw that. Nobody saw what just I mean, happened. I, I don't know much about this. This is just what I do when I'm flying. I just try and keep it above 70. No, nobody saw um, I jumped out of my ship. 70 meters per second uh, going up. You know, is that better? And if I start dropping... Is, is that, is to, that, to would you prefer that, again. or, or that? Do you want to see the speed I'm going, or the amount of, uh, fuel that I have well, left? I'll bring it up to about 90 again. Uh, where are we at? 73. Oh, I'm down at 72. Close enough. Uh, now, I've got a little bit of a downwards mo uh, movement, so the um, planet's still pulling me down. You can see that on your horizon bar thing, you got a little plus. That's pointing yep. to where you're going. So if it's pointing too far down, it means you need to bring the nose well, you need to try and boost yourself up, so use a bit of space to lift yourself to get that line up so you're more closer to center. And if it's too high, then use C to tap yourself down. But we're, we're pretty much breaking free of this, so this is getting much easier. As long as, as long as the bar is remaining, uh, uh, the little plus thing is at center or, or slightly above center, you should be good. Just don't let it fall down. <laughs> Otherwise you'll fall down. This thing is so freaking red on the inside, man. I, I need to change the red. So weird seeing my setup on the left. Oh, I see. You're way, you're way ahead of me. <laughs> um, yeah, 
I yeah. start bringing it down to about 50 when I'm up this high. As long as that little mark is above the horizon. Well, what would be the horizon? And then once you get out of this far, it's just a matter of, matter of tapping it to make adjustments. Yeah, I'm about 6k's away from the, uh, the thing over here. Yeah, I'm 7. Yeah, you're about 2k's behind. I'm just trying to stop going sideways, because I'm going hell to the right. Oh yeah, it's going to be amazing once I've got, um, ions. This is so damn expensive. And obviously once you hit zero, because you're probably very close to it right now, you can hit your, um, dampeners to slow down and then just readjust and coast towards the station. How's your fuel? Uh, 58. 58? I'm at 65. <laughs> but I haven't... I haven't reached zero yet, have you? On the P gravity? Yeah. I uh, know I'm at 0 0.05. Oh, yeah. I'm at 0 0.06. You're three Ks ahead of me. I'm just coming up on test spot right now. And I think I just passed it. Station's about a kilometer out from the edge of the space. Um, uh, sorry, the edge of the gravity. So I went field. past it. Is this going to be a problem? <laughs> Just hit Z and stop. As long as you're outside of gravity range. Yeah, I just hit zero. Come past it. So just hit, just hit Z and come to a stop. Spin around and point back at it and go. Oh, I'm going to turn off my Atmos. I don't. They're not going to be doing anything up here. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Now I'm free. So let's reset that with dampeners. 63% fuel. Just tap towards station. Can I get an exclamation point space? Oh, your signal just merged with the station. Space! Space! Thank you. spin around. Holy crap, I can see that orange thing from here. <laughs> Gotta be the orange, my friend. <laughs> it stands out. Holy hell.
I'm not gonna do that. That's not very nice. Welcome. Even though you beat me there. Crappy space station that I'm that I started building. With what is mostly left of this bot. Which is the base design for the ships we are in today. I see. It hasn't failed to be in space faster than I did. <laughs> space? Space! <laughs> I mean, look, I'll I mean, be honest with you. Granted, you've got a. You're absolutely my right. Wait, did I leave the doors open? <laughs> but in the drafting. Oh, no, the, do no, the door's shut. Taken insect infestation? Jeez. Is it going to be safe to leave our ship here? Yeah, just make sure you turn off the um, thrusters. And don't bump it. I might have bumped it. And don't take your helmet off. <laughs> okay, is it supposed to like weirdly glitch out on, on your screen? Uh, no, it's stay it's staying still, right? Looks like it's staying still for me. Everything's like weirdly glitching for me. Is it? Everything's... Looks fine from here. Okay, when I, when I get on something... Quote, unquote, solid, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, I haven't finished it yet. Wait, do I, did I bring any material with me? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I did. I, br I brought some. There we go. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, this is the space base. Oh, don't. Yeah. <laughs> you want to be careful with those boots. They're really fucking weird. Eh, <laughs> uh, eh, uh, eh. Uh. Yeah, yeah, they're really, really weird. Now, this here is where all of the uh, bulletproof glasses. Oh, in this thing. I see. Because I, I made this lovely window. It is a very lovely window. Wouldn't it be such a it, shame it, if you looked the, out? The window looks, the window looks uh, bigger than it actually is. It would be funny if you looked out and you just watch your play spaceship just plummet to the ground. Well, I mean, if it gets too close to down there, uh, that's where the gravitational field is, so... Yeah. Yeah. Something you'll also notice is if you go Shift-K, you can actually see like, um, the base and everything is still communicatable from up here. That's cool. Because we've got full communications up to this thing. And that's cool. Oh, it looks like the batteries are fully charged. Oh, that's very cool. That, that is. It means I don't have too much crap up here. I like it. But I definitely want to make this bigger and have like a full on space station we can dock to and then do stuff from. Oh, Richard, that's not very nice. And have like mining robots or something to go and grab the asteroids and stuff. You know, explore. That's the idea. Oh, this is trippy as hell. Um, put reconnect back to the base. Yeah. Walk off the edge. Oh no, <laughs> I don't like it. 
<laughs> don't like it. <laughs> oh, I don't like this. It's so, it's so weird. And then look up. <laughs> oh, I don't like this. <laughs> I really so don't weird. like this. There is a camera up here, so you can't actually see the planet from uh, way, way down there. But unfortunately, for some reason, every time you connect to it, it disconnects you after about a second. It's annoying. Don't like it. <laughs> yeah, you walk back. It's so oh no! Weird. Oh yeah, you. If you fall off, you wanna you wanna turn on your fuel, so don't run out of fuel. Otherwise, you're screwed. You just keep going until you hit something. <laughs> I wonder if you face palm in space, does that send you backwards? I mean, you are attached to the station at the moment. Nope, it doesn't. <laughs> Good science. Solid science. But yeah, so this is space base. Spice. Needs more construction. Agreed. Um, test bot has about 60% fuel in it if you find you, you need it. For any reason. Um, it doesn't have a... It doesn't have a cockpit, but you'd have to detach it and fly it backwards a bit. Um, it's the same controls, obviously, as the ships with Aye. the cockpits. But you obviously want to leave some fuel in it if you do take it in case well, so that it can be reconnected back to the dock again and then removed again to refuel if necessary. <laughs> so, you like the view? I, I, can, I can see the holes from the meteorites from up here. <laughs> <laughs> I can see the holes that you've been creating with Drillbot. I can see the holes that I've been crashing into the ground with. <laughs> uh, so, there's like this solid line going across the sand down there, and that's that's just from the uh, the uh, old galaxy when it was trying to do that rescue mission. This is a line going across the mountain, side of the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> 